Okay? If you created a black box, so if I created a situation where we're in a, in a room and there is no light at all coming into this room, okay? What I did was I took my flash and I calculated the power that I needed to illuminate my subject and have it perfect, whatever perfect exposure that I want. I, I know what it is. That flash illuminates the subject for what? A fraction of a second, right? How fast this turns off and on? See how fast that is? That's when it illuminates your subject. That's your shutter speed. Because look it. I can set my shutter speed for whatever I want. Let's say I open my shutter. Okay, let's, let's turn everything off. Okay, there's no, there's no light in the room. Can you see the subject? No, right? I open my shutter right now. Is there any light going into my camera? It's not exposing anything. It's completely dark. Oops, sorry. My flash goes off for a fraction of a second. Is that subject still there? Yes, but your camera cannot see it. So that person could be doing this or whatever. It could be getting stripped naked. I don't know. You can't see it. You cannot see that person. It is completely dark. My shutter can still be open. I can go out to dinner. I can have a fabulous sushi dinner. I could come back. I could close the shutter. That's, that is perfectly exposed, that shot. It has no bearing on the shot, my shutter speed, because it's just a fraction, oops, sorry, a fraction of a second. When your shutter goes, I'm doing it the wrong way. There, did that? Boom, boom, on and off. That's it. So my shutter speed is actually the duration of my flash when you're in a very low light situation. And so let's go over to this picture here. So what's happening is this, is I have clouds back there, okay? My flash fires for a fraction of a second. The subject is not seen. I keep my shutter open to expose those clouds in the back, which is very, very little light. That light from the clouds is not going not to overexpose my sensor because it's just a minuscule amount of light. But I want it in my camera, OK? So shutter controls the ambient or the available light. The flash controls the light on your subject. So when you use flash, believe it or not, you're shooting two exposures in one shot. That should blow your mind right now because that should open the floodgates. Because if you can take two exposures in one shot, your mind can go wild and think of different scenarios. I can have one exposure to expose the background. I can leave it open for a second, two seconds, whatever. And then to get whatever background that I have, and then I could properly illuminate my subject at the same time. So that was one sixth of a second it took handheld. Okay, so look at this shot here. Let me demonstrate. This is the same lighting setup. I'm at 1 60th of a second. This next shot that I take, I'm at 1.3 seconds handheld. Okay, now it looks like that. And I get the background. You could tell it's handheld because look, is the background blurry? If I wanted that background tight, what would I do? Put it on a tripod, but I don't own a tripod, so that's not gonna happen. All right, so <laughs> I don't, just too much stuff to carry around. So I just, so look it. Now, let your mind go wild. Whatever your vision is, if you want more of a silhouette shot and let less light in, then you can change the shutter speed to ch change the ambient light, or if you want to let more ambient light in, you can open it up and create a shot like that. So you're in full control of whatever you want to do with flash. And so that's how you, look at this shot. So I took this shot. Guess, on, uh, guess the uh, flash uh, shutter speed on this shot that I used. Anybody want to guess? It's 1 60th of a second, OK? It's, she's 1 60th of a second. She's jumping in the air. I'm firing my flash. It's freezing her, right? She's falling down while the shutter is still open, but because there's no light on her, you're not seeing her fall down, OK? Jump, bam, flash for a fraction of a second. Then she's dark. The camera can't see her, and she falls down. You understand that concept? But I leave the shutter open. Why? The background. 
I need that 60th of a second to create that background exactly the way I want it. I set my background first, and then I do the flash. And that's how we created that.